Hello everyone. In last video, we have discussed about a liquid drop model and we have compared liquid drop with a nucleus and we have successfully explained binding energy of the nucleus using a liquid drop model. But liquid drop model fails to explain the magic numbers and to explain magic numbers we use a model which is called a shell model and in today's video I am going to discuss about shell model. Okay, we all know that suppose if you consider atom that is at center it is having a nucleus and around nucleus there are different shells and in each shells electrons are going to revolve around it we all know that and one more thing the atoms such as helium neon argon trypton and xenon which are having electron numbers 2 10 18 36 and 54 these are the electron numbers of different atoms and these atoms are more stable as compared to the other atoms and in this case the electron shells are completely filled that is let us suppose if I take the first one we can write its electronic configuration as 1s2 that is let us suppose if you consider atomic structure of helium it is the first s shell and here two electrons are revolving and this shell is completely filled that's why it is highly stable atom and similarly for neon its config electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 that is all the shells are filled completely with electrons that's why these all atoms are more stable and in 1948 Mayer suggested that like electrons which are revolving in different shells electrons are revolving in different shells in the same way inside nucleus protons and neutrons are in their energy levels that is let us suppose if you consider a nucleus inside nucleus proton there are two separate energy levels for protons and neutrons in photon energy levels protons are occupied for neutron energy levels in neutron energy levels neutrons are going to occupy there are separate energy levels for proton and similarly there are separate energy levels for neutron as we have seen in atomic model and we have already seen that the atoms which are having their electron number 2 8 18 32 54 are more stable in the same way the photon or neutron number which is equal to 2 8 20 28 50 82 and 126 let us suppose the nucleus which is having any one of these number of protons and neutrons then the nucleus is more stable as compared to the other nucleus which are having proton neutron number other than these numbers and it is observed that the nucleus which is having either the number of protons or the number of neutron 
are equal to one of the numbers that is two eight twenty twenty eight fifty eighty two and one twenty six are more stable then the neighbors and we call these numbers are are called magic numbers let us suppose if proton or neutron number are equal to any one of these numbers then the nucleus is more stable as compared to its neighbors and we call these numbers are magic numbers and also if if both proton and neutron numbers of the nucleus are are magic numbers that is let us suppose if inside nucleus both proton and neutron number are equal to any one of these numbers then the nucleus is called doubly magic number or we call it as a doubly magic and one more thing the nuclei with magic number magic numbers of nucleons are abundant abundant in nature and one more thing we observe that the nuclei having magic number are more stable and have stable isotopes here i am going to take some of the example of nucleus which are which is having magic numbers that is the first one is helium in helium we observe that there are two protons and there are two neutrons two is also magic number number of proton is also magic number and number of neutron is also magic number so helium is the doubly magic number and we know that magic numbers are 2 8 20 28 50 82 and 126 these are the magic numbers in helium atom we can see that helium nucleus is having two protons and two neutrons so it is doubly magic and example for another example is oxygen we see that there are eight protons and eight neutrons oxygen is also doubly magic because it is having magic number and calcium calcium is having 20 protons and number of neutrons are 20 and one more thing calcium is having six stable isotopes isotopes means the atoms of the same element that have different number of neutrons but same number of proton these are the isotope and tin is having 50 protons that is magic number 
and tin is having 10 stable isotopes